Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Cummings and welcome to part three of an 18 part video series of me reading passages from my autobiography, Odd Man Out, True Stories of a Gay Black Swimmer. If you have not been able to see parts one and two, then you can just click on any of these links right here and they will direct you to part one where I read my entire prologue, which gave the motivation and inspiration for writing my book, and then part one where I talked about my first swimming coach. And today I will be reading a passage from chapter two. I have had lots of acquaintances in my life, very few actual friends. It was a matter of choosing those who had the same interests as I did, and not many people liked the same things I did, so those friends I made were precious to me. My only downfall has been losing track of those friends. There are powerful moments of nostalgia when I remember all my friends in more than three decades of life. Probably 98% of them have not received a phone call, email, or Christmas card from me in more than a year. Herman was one of those life, once in a lifetime friends that you think about on your deathbed or expect to see emerge from behind the curtain on This Is Your Life. For a time, Herman was the brother I always wanted. We were on the same swim team and were the same age and his mother and mine were also close friends. Of the five or six years we were close, there probably weren't more than three weeks that went by where we didn't spend a night or a weekend at each other's houses. One sleepover at his house changed my life. Herman's dad was what the gay community would call a bear. He had a full beard of thick black hair with hairy arms and hairy legs. Many bears are chubby, but Herman's dad obviously worked out. As we prepared to go to sleep one night at Herman's house, I went into the bathroom to brush my teeth. I heard the shower running and figured Herman's dad was in there. Then he got out of the shower. Hair covered almost every inch of him. His chest muscles and abs were very defined. I had never seen him fully naked and never before had I seen muscle definition like this. Remember that I grew up without my father and my brother was tall and scrawny. Some of the guys on my swim team were well built, but Herman's dad was the embodiment of the male form. Statues could have been modeled on his physique. Young boys look at their fathers or their friends' fathers all the time and gaze at what they could have in about 15 years. I found myself transfixed in a way that transcended that, and my brain was telling my body to do weird things. I had butterflies in my stomach and I couldn't feel my legs. I felt like I was floating. I finished brushing my teeth as he dried off. I could see him in the mirror and I couldn't turn my eyes away. I ran out of the bathroom and jumped into bed. As I lay there, I could still picture his body. Boys don't think about their friend's father's body this much, do they? So that's a passage from chapter two in my book, Odd Man Out, True Stories of a Gay Black Swimmer. And um, that pretty much gives you an idea of what it was like the first time that I saw um, the full body of a naked man and um, really realize what it would be like to be attracted to another man. So that's part three and I look forward to bringing you part four very soon. Thank you very much for allowing me to share my story with you on the video, on this video. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my book, you can find a link to buy a signed copy in the description box below. Thanks a lot. See you next time.